Hello, be most welcome to DK Studio Podcast. I'm also not going to jump, also not to black. And what today's episode will be discussing about verbs. Yeah, not just simple verbs, but verbs which lots of English learners often confuse them. But before we get too deep on this topic, let me just remind you something. You need to grab your headphones and use them now. And also stay somewhere quiet where no one might disturb you. And on that way, we may guarantee a good learning environment. If you're using any software to practice the new language you learn, just include the verbs and sentences from the podcast and maybe write them down on your notebook so that you can keep practicing them whenever you feel like doing. Always make some effort to use everything you learn and stop worrying about making mistakes. Yeah, you need to stop worrying about making mistakes because everyone makes mistakes. So who are you not to make any mistake? Who are you to be perfect? All right, so let's get started. Our first pair of verb is argue versus discuss. Argue, A-R-G-U-E and discuss, D-I-S-C-U-S-S. What is the difference between these two verbs? Okay, let's see the definitions of these verbs. Let's start by verb to argue. To argue means to speak angry, okay, to, to somebody because you disagree with them. To speak angrily because you disagree with them. And to discuss means to talk about something with somebody, especially in order to decide something. All right. So let's get some examples using these verbs. Okay, let's start by argue. Where there are two women together, they always argue about something. Where there are two women together, they always argue about something. You see, they always speak angrily, okay, because they disagree with something, all right? I often argue with my brother about doing the housework. I often argue with my brother, okay, because of doing the housework, about doing the housework, all right? Uh, The next sentence will be with verb discuss, okay? The next sentence will be the verb discuss. Let's see. Remember that discuss means to talk about something with somebody, especially in order to decide something, to find a solution of something, all right? So let's get started. I'm not ready to discuss about this issue on the cell phone. I'm not ready to discuss about this issue on the cell phone. So I'm not ready to talk about this issue and decide what you need to decide maybe about this issue on the cell phone. So we need to discuss where, okay, we'll spend the Christmas. We need to discuss where we'll spend the Christmas. We need to make a decision. We need to talk in order to get a decision about the place where we're going to spend the Christmas. And the last one we we discuss is I need to discuss the problem with my boss. I need to discuss the problem with my boss. All right, let's go to our second pair of verb. We have here notice and realize. Notice, N-O-T-I-C-E, realize, R-E-A-L-I-Z-E. All right, so what is the difference between these two verbs? Notice means to see or to hear something or maybe to hear somebody. Notice means to observe and it also means to become aware of somebody or maybe about of some of someone of something i mean all right and to realize means to understand okay it also means to become aware but of a particular fact or situation all right let's see some examples with these verbs i've not that you weren't paying attention when i was talking i was i've not that i've seen that you weren't paying much attention when i was talking all right let's go to a second example with not the first thing i noticed about the room was the smell the first thing i observed or i became aware okay about the room when i entered in that room was the smell all right and the last example would notice did you not how jenny kept looking at me did you notice how Jen kept looking at me? Like, did you see, okay? Did you see how Jen kept looking at me? All right, cool. Let's see some examples with realize now. Remember that realize means to understand, to become aware of a particular fact or situation, all right? So the first example is, I didn't realize you were so unhappy. I'm sorry. I didn't understand i didn't realize okay i didn't become aware okay 
of the situation that you were. I didn't realize you were so unhappy. Okay, our second example. The moment I saw her, I realized something was wrong. The moment I saw her, I realized something was wrong. The moment I saw her, I understood something was wrong with her. Okay? And the last example we'd realize is, I don't think you realize how important this is to her son. I don't think you realize. I don't think you understand. I don't think you realize how important, okay, this is to her son. All right, cool. Now let's move to our third pair of verb, where we are avoid and prevent. Avoid, A-V-O-I-D, prevent, P-R-E-V-E-N-T. So what is the difference in this two verb? To avoid means to try not to do something. It also means to prevent something from happening. You see? To prevent something bad from happening. And prevent means to stop somebody from doing something or maybe to stop something from happening. Those are the definitions of these two verbs. All right, let's see some examples. Remember, we start by avoid and remember that avoid means to try not to do something. So the accident, okay, the accident could have been avoided. It means that the accident, okay, could have been tried to stop it, okay? We should have tried to stop it. We should, we should control the situation not to happen this accident. And the second example, the name was changed, okay, to avoid confusion with other company. The name was changed to avoid confusion with the other company. So we changed the name to try not to do something, to prevent something bad with another company. All right, let's go to the next one. Nelson always tries to avoid arguing with his wife. Nelson always tries, okay, to avoid, always try not to do something bad, try not to argue with his wife. All right, now let's go to prevent. Let's say some examples would prevent. Remember that prevent means to stop, okay, somebody from doing something or maybe to stop something from happening, all right? So the same example we used with avoid that we can also use here with prevent. The accident could have been prevented. It means that the accident could have been stopped from happening, all right? Uh, nothing would prevent him from speaking out against the injustice, Nothing would stop him. Nothing would prevent him from speaking out against the injustice. Of course, when you see that something is wrong, you need to talk. Okay, you don't you don't just need to be in silence. Okay, let's go to our last example. My dad can prevent me from seeing my friends. My dad can prevent me. My dad can stop me from seeing my friends. All right. Okay, cool. Let's go to another pair, our fourth pair of verb, where we are mind versus matter. Mind, M-I-N-D, matter, M-A-T-T-E-R. What is the difference between these two verbs, okay? Uh, we have those common phrases like, what is the matter? I don't mind about it. Okay, what is the difference there? So mind means to be absent, to get annoyed, okay, or worried about something. So if you say, I don't mind about it, you mean that... Uh, I don't get annoyed about it. I don't worry about that thing, you see. So matter means to be, I mean, it's like to be a problem or to be important or have an important effect on somebody or maybe on something. So if I say, what is the matter? I mean, what is the problem? All right. Let's say some examples would mind. I hope you don't mind this noise. I hope you don't mind this noise. If I say, I hope you don't mind this noise, it's like, I hope you don't get annoyed with this noise, all right? My parents don't mind if I stay late out night, okay? My parents don't mind if I stay late, okay? If I stay out late, I mean, okay? So it's like my parents don't get a word, okay? Don't get annoyed or maybe don't be absent if I stay out late night, uh, do you mind if I use your computer? Do you mind? Do you worry if I use your computer? Do you get annoyed if I use your computer? Okay, cool. Let's go to matter now. Examples with matter. Uh, it doesn't matter. If I say it doesn't matter if, it's like it is not important enough to worry about that. So it doesn't matter if we are five minutes later. So it's not that much important if, okay, we are five minutes later, all right? So does it really matter? 
to know who did it? Does it really matter to know who did it? Is it much important to know the person who did it? I think it's not important. And the last one, of course, is that one. What is the matter? Like, what is the problem? Okay, what is the, what is the matter? You see some kids crying there. You can ask them, what is the matter? All right, cool. Let's go to our fifth pair of verbs. With you. Remember and remind. Remember, R-E-M-E-M-B-E-R. -E 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 and remind, R-E-M-I-N-D. Okay, what is the difference between remember and remember? I remember you. Okay, let me see if I can remind you to take off the clothes, okay, when you get home, you see. All right, so let's see the difference. To remember means not to forget, to have something or to have an image in your memory, okay, of an event or maybe of a person or a person or, or a place for the past. It means to keep that image in your memory, all right? That is the meaning of to remember. For example, this is Rajal. Do you remember him? This is Rajal, my friend. Do you remember him? Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, cool. All right. I don't remember my first time trying to learn English. I don't remember my first time trying to learn English. It's like I don't have the image of myself trying to learn English. Okay. Uh, remember to turn off the lamp before you sleep. Remember to turn off the lamp before you sleep. It's like, don't forget to turn off the lamp before you sleep. All right, cool. Let's go to remind. To remind means to help somebody to remember. Oh, you see, these verbs are interconnected, you see. So to remind is to help somebody to remember, especially something important that they must do or that they need to do. All right. Okay, so let's do some examples. I'm sorry, I've forgotten your name. Can you remind me? You see? Can you help me to remember your name? Can you remind me, please? Oh, well, that reminds me about her trying to kill her bird. That reminds me, okay, about her trying to kill her bird. She had a bird, and I just see an image which makes me remember, okay, the day she was trying to kill it. You see? All right. Don't remind me about that. If someone says, Please don't remind me about that. It's like, please, I don't want to think about it. You see, I need to forget. So don't help me to remember it. So can you remind me to call my mom later? Can you remind me? Can you help me to remember, okay, to call my mom later? All right, cool. Let's go to our six, okay, uh, uh, verbs here. We've got expect and Wait, expect versus wait, expect, E-X-P-E-C-T, and wait, W-A-I-T. What is the difference? To expect something is to think or to believe that something will happen or maybe that somebody will come. And to wait means to stay where you are until something happens. Do you see the difference? Until something happens or maybe until somebody comes. While there you think and you believe that something will happen or somebody will come, yeah, you have to wait. In wait, you have to stay where you are, okay? You have to stay where you are until something happens or somebody comes. Let's see some examples we'd expect. Uh, we're expecting to rise, I mean, we're expecting a rise in food prices this month. Now we are in December time and Christmas is very close. So we're expecting what? A rise. We believe that that will happen, okay? We're expecting a rise in food prices, like the price of the food will increase, will rise up. So this month, that's not the sort of behavior I expected of you. I'm disappointed, okay? That's not the sort of behavior I expected from you. That is not the sort of behavior I thought you should have. I'm disappointed with that person. All right, I expect that they won't arrive too late, I expect that it won't arrive too late, okay? I I think or maybe I believe that they won't arrive too late. All right, cool. Let's see examples with wait, okay? Remember that wait means to stay where you are until something happens or somebody comes. All right. Have you been waiting for long? Have you been waiting for long? You see, have you been there waiting until, okay, I come for a long time? Oh, I haven't been waiting. 
okay i haven't been waiting for long just for 20 minutes i've been waiting okay i haven't been waiting for long just for 20 minutes all right um we still have we still have to wait half an hour for the next train we still have to wait okay half an hour for the next train all right let's see our seventh example i mean e example yes of verbs okay which are confusing verbs where we are wish versus hope wish w-i-s-h and hope h-o-p-e to wish something with means to want something to happen or to be true even though it's unlikely or maybe it's impossible okay and hope something means to want something to happen and think that it is possible when you wish you know that it's impossible or maybe it's unlikely to happen, but even though you want it. But when you hope you want something to happen and you know that it's possible, you know that that thing will happen. Let's say, for example, examples would wish. I wish I were taller. I know that we do, it won't happen, but I wish. That is a wish I have. That's what I wanted to happen. I wish I were taller, but unfortunately, I'm not taller. Okay, um, I wish I hadn't eaten so much. Oh, who told you to eat so much? It was like it was like you're in a competition. That's bad. You see, I wish I hadn't eaten so much. Okay, but unfortunately, it's impossible because you've just eaten. I wish you wouldn't leave your clothes all over the floor. You see the clothes all over the floor and you wish that that thing, okay, is impossible because it has happened. All right. Okay, now let's go to hope. Remember that hope means want to something, okay, want something to happen or think it is possible to happen, okay, and think it is possible to happen. All right, uh, we are hoping for good weather on December 25th. We are hope, okay, we are hoping for good weather on December 25th. Like we are hoping that the Christmas on the Christmas doesn't doesn't rain, okay? We're expecting, we are hope, okay, for good weather. All right, do you think it will rain? I hope not. I hope not, all right? So if it's affirmative, you can say, I hope so. Um, I hope that you can come on Friday, okay? I hope that you can come on Friday. I haven't seen you for ages. I haven't seen you for ages. Okay, cool. Let's go to our eighth pair of verbs, okay, where we are refuse versus deny. Uh, actually, this is our last group of verbs which we're going to discuss on this episode. Refuse, R-E-F-U-S-E, -E, versus deny, D-E-N-Y. Refuse means to say you won't do something that somebody has asked you. When you say, I won't do that thing, it means that you are refusing to say no, to say you won't do something, you don't want to do something, that means to refuse. While to deny means to say that something isn't true, like that is a lie, that is not true, you are just denying, you see the difference. All right, let's see some examples. She refused to accept that he, there was a problem. You see, she, re she refused to accept that there was a problem. It means that she's just saying no. She doesn't want to accept that there was a problem. But I've noticed it, okay? I've seen it. All right. I politely refused their invitation. I politely refused their inv invitation. So please, next time, don't refuse something while, okay, you might need somehow, okay? Let's say examples would deny he denied to charge, okay? He denied, I'm sorry, he denied the charge instead of to charge. He denied the charge. Maybe they wanted him to be a boss, but then he said, no, that cannot be true. He doesn't want, he denied the charge. He denied the accusation, okay? They just they accused him like he stole something, but then he denied. He said that that isn't true, all right? Um, she denied that there had been any cover-up, Okay. What is a cover-up? Cover-up is like an illegal activity from the public, okay? An illegal activity from the public. So she denied that there had been any cover-up. And the last example is Tom always denies that he has a problem. Tom always denies that he has a problem. He always say, no, no, that isn't true. 
All right, cool. Thank you for listening to this podcast until this level. Um, I've just, I hope that I've just clarified about these confusing verbs. Okay. So thank you once again so much by listening to it. And if he, I really clarified your doubts, if I really clarified your doubts, please, okay, just share this podcast with your friends. And if you haven't done so, just hit the subscribe button now so that you won't miss, you'll never miss the next episodes, the next podcast. Thank you very much and bye. Thank you.